hi everybody it's crystal so i hope everybody is doing well and staying safe um thank you for joining me today so today i i found a mystery box one of my uh friends here on youtube sent me an email of a small a little yarn shop that sold mystery boxes and of course mystery bag of course you know i like those um so i'm going to so shout out thank you very much for buying that for me and it's actually not even that far from me just a few hours away from me um where i live so of course it didn't take very long to get here and they did ship the same day that no next day that i ordered because i ordered it in the middle of the night i guess it would have been the same day i don't know but anyways it's called i, pro I may not pronounce it right but i will put um a link to the the store below uh, Le Moutin Rouge Knittery. Le Mou yeah, Le Moutin Rouge Knittery. I probably didn't say that right. And it's in uh, Bloomington, Illinois. Some of you might know of it. I've never been, but uh, anyways, they have this online shop and uh, a brick and mortar, I believe. So uh, now you always have to remember when you buy mystery bags from a little yarn shop, they are going to be different than ones that you buy. Normally, they'll be different than ones that you buy from big box stores. Like they won't have as much yarn in them because you're buying from a little yarn shop. You know what I mean? Not a big commercial business like Lion Brand or something, or Mary Maxima or something like that. You're just buying from a little yarn shop, help supporting a little yarn store, you know? Um, so this is what I got. They had a different um, sizes you could get and different, different varieties you could, check it out and they actually let you you could like type 10 words in of like what you might like so there's actually two mystery boxes in here so I bought one and I don't know if they're separated or not they might all be all together but I bought one for a hundred dollars and I said said like 10 words or less tell us you know what you like and I just wrote Aaron Way or above and then I wrote earth tone colors and wool or wool blend. And then there's a $50 one, which I just wrote, surprise me. All right, so let's check it out and see what we got. Came in the pink bag, it's cute. It's always good. <clears throat> I like to try to support small businesses, you know, when I can and bring light to them when I can on my YouTube channel. This is one I have never heard of. So let's see what we got here. So I don't know what is what's what box here. Okay. See handwritten notes. Thank you. I hope you enjoy. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got here. So you have to remember, uh, sometimes when you buy yarns from the little yarn shop, they're most, they're a lot of times in a hand dyed kind. Okay, so we got Wonderland Yarns, Pigments of Imagination. This one is called a Mary Ann. Um, she wrote something about that. It says, she said the Mary Ann yarn is an assigned pulling yarn all right so you, it's a pulling color um it's a sock weight 475 yards four ounces 85 percent super fine merino and 10 percent nylon so the color is called a refreshing moon lit swim okay so this must be dyed in the usa hand dyed by Frab, frab just fibers and the USA. I don't, it's, it's nice. It, you know, it feels like the, you know, the merino wool nylon blend like sock yarn does. It's very beautiful, you know, though I can't use sock yarn, but I did say on the $50 box to surprise me. So I didn't give, you know, I didn't say any Pacific weight on, on that one. So those are very pretty. So, you know, these are hand dyed yarn. These right here, I'm sure, covered the cost of the $50 mystery box. I am certain. Very pretty. I like them. They feel nice. 
be cool to use them. I just can't use that lightweight yarn, but to pull with them and stuff, that'd be kind of neat. See what your socks look like. Beautiful uh, teal and purples in there, isn't it? A little bit of gray up in there. That's pretty nice. That's a nice yarn. Nice hand dyed yarn. Okay. All right, this must be what I got in my $100 box. Okay, it's all the same yarn, just different colors. It is Plymouth Yard Mojito Merino, 81% fine merino, 19% nylon. So this must be my $100 box. Okay. Um, Made in Peru by Plymouth Yarns. Hand wash, lay flat, 191 yards. Okay. So that's what the chain spun yarn there. See that? So I got one. I, I, you know, the colors, they nailed it on the colors when I said I wanted earth tones. <laughs> brown is my favorite color. So I got four, five of the dark brown ones in there. One, two, three, four, five of the dark browns. And then um, one, two, three, four, five of these grays, which is very pretty. And then one of my favorite color of green. I like that. So that was what was in my mystery boxes. Um, this is nice, it's stretchy. It's pretty cool. Um, so, I'm certain these were worth fifty dollars. Um, that's probably retail price on that, I would imagine, um, or close to it, you know, something like that. And these um, are nice. I got a, uh, eleven balls of the same yarn, just different colors. I, I don't mind getting the same yarn in, in a mystery box. I do love the colors that she sent. They're very pretty. Um, nice to have a little bit of a different but that's okay that's okay it's it's a little yarn shop and i'm happy to support the little yarn shop um just one second here okay so yes this these these mystery boxes were were good because you know like i said it's a little yarn shop and it you're gonna play a full-blown retail for their for their mystery it's not like you're getting a mystery but you're still playing full-blown retail for for the uh for the balls of yarn um, but that's expected with a little yarn store. You can't expect it to be like, um, like I said, like Lion Brand and stuff where they give away their clearance yarn and stuff. It's just not like that. So when you usually, a lot of times, like I can't say every time, but a lot of times that, that I've purchased mystery boxes from little yarn shops, it's full blown retail. So um, these are worth $50. I paid $50 for them because they sell for about $25, uh, I think. And again, these were full blown retail because they run about 8 dollars a hank um or eight dollars a ball on average between um eight and nine dollars a ball and i got 11 of them so um uh they might sell them a little bit more since it's a uh you know a little bit more than what i've seen them on the internet for but they might sell them a little bit more in their yarn shop you know what i mean so so i did play full-blown retail for all this yarn but i did expect that because it's they give you a hundred dollars worth of yarn from their store um, in your mystery bag, but they just give you a mystery. So um, yeah, it's it, it's good. It's it's what I expected. You know, I knew that it would I would probably get some hand dyed yarn in there, and that you know it would be retail price. This is what I was paying. I knew that going into it because that's just the way that's the way it is. But I think these are pretty, and they really did. Uh, when I said that, you know, I told them what I liked. Earth tones will blend Aaron Waiter above. You know, they nailed that on, on my $100 mystery box. Giving me 11 of these. And then, um, yeah. Yeah, I found these anywhere between um, $8 and $9 a hank. Or ball, so. And these were about $25 a hank. So, yeah, that was 
they're very these are actually very very beautiful yarns and um these are probably my favorite but i can't use them because they are a fingering weight unfortunately but that's okay that's okay i can't use them i know somebody that can <laughs> so I, I i enjoyed it it was fun you know the not knowing i love mystery boxes um of all kinds especially yarn mystery boxes. So this is just the fun of not knowing what's going to be in your bag. So I think this was good. It's what I expected it to be. You know, I got, uh, I, you know, I paid what I would have paid if I would have went to her shop and picked it out myself more than likely. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what she charges for these, but, um, you can find them on the internet between eight and nine dollars a ball. And these are around 25 to 26 dollars a hank. So yeah, it's, it was cool. It was a fun experience. So, um, you know, it's a short video, but thanks everybody for watching. Um, they, they were really nice. Um, or she was really nice. Um, she emailed me and asked me if I wanted a pattern or, or something. I can't remember to go with it, but I said no, because I don't, I can't even read a pattern. So that would do me no good. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave the link below. If you guys are interested, she had all different sizes. Like I think maybe starting out at 25 she also had like malabrego mystery by mystery bags and uh, certain yarn mystery bags and stuff like that but uh yeah all right guys i don't know what i'm gonna do with this um it's a cool yarn it's super stretchy it's because it's got nylon in it yeah i have enough here to make something big and i can use you know these browns and these grays go good together and then I can use this as a stripe or something. Like maybe if I made a top or a sweater. I'm not sure. I just one of these. What did I say? 191 yards. I'll just say 200. Uh, it's four weight probably. Um, chain spun. Yeah. Yeah. I could make a sweater uh, out of that. Definitely. You know, it'd be cool if I made a sweater out of these two colors. But, uh. And then put a green stripe across the chest. What do you think? You guys think? And maybe match the arm, the stripe across the arms. Try to. So when you held your arms down, the stripe matched. Maybe. That could be something I could do with it. Or I may not even end up using it at all. It might go in giveaways. Either. I do like it though. It's very pretty yarn. It's soft. It's scarfable. Not itchy. I'm not going to smell it because of COVID. But I'm just saying, um, I'm certain in that it's fine. So, I'm going to go. Thanks, everybody, for watching. This stuff is gorgeous. I like it. Bye, guys.